These are weapons. Hold on. I feel like my nail is dangerous. Hey guys, I am in my theater room right now. I need a little change of environment and I think this is really cute. I never really thought to film here, but I really love the lighting and I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. So here we are. I am doing my go-to makeup look right now. This is my go-to no matter where I'm going, honestly, but this is basically what I do every day. This is my favorite products, favorite go-to makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy it. I am obsessed with it. I know you guys are gonna like it. If you wanna see what my go-to products are right now, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the dom fam and without further ado let's get in to this video this is actually so cute this little background this is where i like watch movies i have like a big screen here and like a huge comfy couch i'm having a meeting in here on google hangout they rescheduled it so i was like why not do a youtube video here this is so cute this is super comfy and i'm like i don't know why i haven't done this before but i'm gonna do my makeup here with you guys this is just like my go-to makeup right now and i have an event later i do have a little light base on i have moisturizer spf and my lashes are curled and ready so are my brows but i'm gonna go ahead and get started with my eyes because my eyes are probably going to take the longest. The first thing I'm going to do is pop on some of the transition palette and for this I like to just go into my trusty caramel and toffee. These are my transition shades. Love them so much. I have no base on. Okay, I just realized that. <laughs> So for that, this has been in my makeup bags. It's a little dirty, but this is the Everlasting Eye Base, the 24 hour crease proof eye base from Dominique. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand and work it into my finger and pop it on my lids. There is pigment here. So if you wanna cancel out any redness, any discoloration, you definitely can do that with this eye primer. I saw this tip on TikTok to keep your under eyes from creasing to use an eye base, which I, I'm surprised I've never done that, but I actually want to try that today with this eye base because this does completely cancel out any creasing, which is amazing and it's very mattifying. So I'm actually going to try that on my eyes today, but I'm going to do that later. I'm just going to work on the eyes right now and I just get a big fluffy brush and I just go back and forth into the eye socket and I make a straight line. I kind of don't curve my crease down anymore. I just keep it upwards to give me more of a lifted look. And I softly move it outwards towards, even past the brow bone, because it just helps my eyes look a little bit more elongated, a little bit more lifted. You guys, I kind of want to do other type of videos. Like I want to do more like outfits. I get a lot of fashion PR too, so I kind of want to try that on with you guys. Maybe go shopping with you guys, something different. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below because I definitely want to do different type of content other than just makeup. I love makeup and I love sharing my tips with you guys, but I do want to do something a little different. So let me know what you guys would want to see. So after that transition shade is down, then I'll go in to a deeper shade. I use my palette and I also use the nude prism palette from lunar beauty and i'll take vibes and i'll work it right underneath the outer area of my eye and underneath the transition shade with a smaller brush still going up in that like upward motion i can't believe it's already summertime like Jaden is on vacation already we went to houston and we hung out with family and stuff and he stayed back with his grandma's he kind of usually does that during the summer but i don't want him to stay as long this summer he usually stays for a while like the whole summer. I always end up missing him so much, but I don't think I want to do that this summer. I think I'm just going to have him stay for like a lot shorter of a time frame. But he likes it, so, but I just can't believe it's summertime already. There's going to be a lot of traveling going on. There's a few brand trips that I'm going on too that I'm really excited to share with you guys. Let me know if you guys want to see like a video of me going on a brand trip. I haven't done that in years. It's always so fun and I usually just keep it on to my Instagram and my TikTok, but they are really, really fun. Is that a blueberry? I had like a fruit smoothie this morning with like strawberry, banana, and blueberry and I kept getting it all over my teeth and I think that's what that was. Oh my god, it's in my tube! So as I go down, I just go deeper like in the shade. So now I'm going to take classic and I mix a little bit of teas with that. And it's not like super heavy. The shades I'm using are pretty light and I'm using a light hand. So this is like my go-to kind of like daytime eye, especially for like a daytime event. I'm gonna go in a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna take Moody, just like this deep brown. I'm gonna go super close to my lash and just kind of deep in this area. And it's gonna make your lashes look a little more fuller when you deepen that area on your lash line. It helps me with a little bit of a soft smoky wing. So I just kind of go over that area like that and it lifts it up a little bit more, gives it more dimension and shape. 
You see the difference? You just have to go really close to your lash line. You guys, I got these earrings in from Irene Collection. I actually got a ton of new jewelry in from her. These earrings right here and this ring right here. Super cute jewelry. Every time you guys ask me, like on Instagram or anything, where I get my jewelry, oh, most of the time it's from Irene Collection. I've been wearing them for years. She just makes really, really beautiful jewelry. But I do have other brands that I wear, like Dre Collection, Adina's Jewels is really nice. Eight Other Reasons has really cute jewelry too. But they also just have really, really unique jewelry. And I always get questions like, look at this, this is such a pretty opal earring. And this necklace is from Irene. It's like this, super cute. Need a little bit more depth. A little bit more drama. I've been watching 90 Day Fiance. I need a new show, okay? <laughs> a little bit of The Housewives of New Jersey. That one has been always been my favorite since the beginning, but I feel like I need new shows. So if you guys have any suggestions, I haven't watched Stranger Things. I watched like the first few episodes of season one and then it lost me. I know everybody loves it, but I maybe I need to give it a chance, but I hear so many great things about it. But if there's anything else, let me know. I need a new show. I'm gonna go in with this angled brush right here and I'm going to take classic from Lunar this guy and I'm going to take it right on this area oh my god you guys my brows I think it's too intense like the brow hairs are trying too hard it's because the brow flick that I have is from the brow trio it's a really nice brand and I love the pigmentation but it's just super dark on me but I cannot not wear it so I just went too heavy today and it looks like I don't know what do you guys think too much I think it's too dark. I'm gonna get a lighter one, but I'm gonna go ahead and take that shade classic and take it into the eye socket close to the brow just to add a little more shading around here and give this area a little more shape right in here. And then a little further out as well. And it's not like a crazy big difference, but it does change the shape a little bit to where it's more prominent and it focuses on your eyes a little bit more, like it draws more attention to your eyes. So I really like doing this. So once we do that, I'm gonna go into a bigger brush. It's more clean. And I'm just gonna go back and forth over this so it's not heavy. I'm actually gonna go into a little bit of Tease, which is a like a caramel brown, and just go over the crease a little bit to add another layer of dimension. And this is a super soft eye. And then for the brow bone, I'm just gonna take there. Did you guys see that? I can't see what you see because I'm just using my phone, so. I'm taking there and I'm gonna take it right underneath the brow bone to pop that shape out a little bit more. Boom, okay. Since I have an event today, I'm actually gonna take some liquid liner. This is from Benefit. It's this extreme precision liner. It's really, really nice. And I like the shade of brown that it is. So I'm just gonna go and follow through and go super close to the lash line. Oh my gosh, my favorite part about my new go-to makeup routine right now is this. Like, I don't know if you guys have tried the Bridgerton palette from Pat McGrath, but it's literally this one shade. I just want it as a single shade. I haven't really used any of the shades other than maybe this one a little bit, which gives you kind of the same vibe, but it's a little deeper. I love this shade so much. I think it's called Refinement or Diamond's Desire, whichever one. It's so beautiful, you guys. It's so sparkly. I don't know, let me show you guys, let me show you. So you could put it on with your finger, but I like to just put it on with my brush. It's just a really lightweight shimmer. You'll see what I mean. Look at this, and this sparkle, you can see this in the sun, it's gorgeous. It reminds me so much of Mesmerizing from my The Moment palette, but this one is more of like a champagne and that one is a, like a multicolor. So I put this all over my lid, in my inner corner, literally everywhere. It doesn't look too much because it's like a very soft sparkle and they're really small little pearls. It's so beautiful and it's like very, very sheer and I love that. So I put it on the inner corner. I actually put it on the lower lash line as well. And it just stands out. It's so beautiful. And it's not overwhelming or too sparkly or too chunky. It's very light and just beautiful. I love it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this crease proof eye base on my lower lashes. Oh, I forgot who I got this from. I usually all my new tricks are from Painted by Spencer on TikTok, but there's this new guy and I forgot his name, he's very, very new. If I see it, it comes up, I'll put it in my description. But he said to put an eye base 
on the lower lash line, which is what I'm gonna do right now for creasing. And at the same time, this actually has good coverage, so I'll be really bright. So I'm gonna take this on the under eye. Oh my God, this could be a concealer. <laughs> Hold on. And it's crease proof. Oh my God, that looks so good. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on with my finger because I like the natural warmth that your hands give product. They just melt into your skin so much better. I feel like my nail is dangerous to be this close to my eye right now. It's a little dangerous, but that's okay. We're gonna be careful. These are weapons. Look how long. The medium length is probably the longest I'll ever go and it's still dangerous for me. I've seen longer and I know there's like way longer, but. All right, so our under eyes have a nice base to them. And now I'm just going to put the shades down. I'm gonna go in with my two transition shades, caramel and toffee. I'm just gonna take them as like our base. Actually should probably put on concealer and everything. Oh well, we'll do it backwards today. This is usually not the way that I do it. I don't know why I did it this way first. I'll bring it out a little bit underneath the liner. And after I do this part, I'm like really into sparkly lower lash lines now. I don't know why. I'm going to go into Exposed and Starcrossed. I really love this palette. And pop them onto the lower lash line. Give it some extra shimmer. And I like that they're a little deeper, so it gives the eyes a little more depth. And after I do that, then I go back in because I'm so obsessed with this. I go back in with that shade from the Pat McGrath palette and then I just pop it right over. And I love how this looks. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite. Everybody needs this shade right here. Buy this palette for that shade. <laughs> it's so worth it. I actually don't know how much this palette is. I'll link it below for you guys. If it's ridiculous, ignore me, but I really, really love this. For my mascara, on my lower lashes, I've really been liking the MAC Extended Play, the Giggle Black Lash. You see how it just, ugh. It's so perfect for the lower lashes. Or if you just want an all over very natural lash, it's really nice. So for my lashes, I have been loving these lashes. They're the perfect natural lash. They are from Birdie Lashes. They're the style beauty. You need these, like this is a must have. I already have them cut here. So I just wanted to show you guys what they look like in the actual pack, but these are freaking amazing. They're vegan, cruelty-free. They last up to 25 times, and I absolutely love them. They're very, very wispy and natural, and I love that. So I already cut them. I wear them all the time. For my lashes, what I'll do is I'll put on this House of Lashes. I need a new one already. But this is a clear lash glue, I think because I put it on over my eyeliner. That's why it looks like this. But I'll put on this first. I'll let that sit. And then I'll take my duo lash glue. And I'll just put it on the lash, like directly to the lash. Let that sit for 20 seconds. These are very delicate lashes, by the way. So you have to be very careful with them. You don't want to pull them too hard. So just be very delicate with these guys. Let them sit, live their life, and like do something else while they're drying down. So while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and put on my everyday type of foundation. I usually will use the Rare Beauty one. I just tried this one out from Tower 28. It's a tinted sunscreen. Love sunscreen. I can never have enough of it. This is SPF 30. And this is in the shade 35 Point Doom. And I really love how glossy my skin looks afterwards. So it looks like this. It just has a really nice finish to it. So I'm going to put it on here, my cheeks. And I, ooh, and I like that it's kind of like I have a tan right now, so it matches my tan. And it just evens your skin tone out. It looks really nice. So I'm going to put that on really quick. I have been using this mirror from EXO. I have her palette. I actually dug my finger into one of the pans, and it's just a hot mess. So I haven't really showed you guys on here, but I, I love that palette. I use it a lot. And also their lashes are really nice too. She has like um, more like glam lashes. When I'm like going out out, I'll wear those. Look at my skin. I love when my skin looks glowy and dewy because my skin naturally is super dry. I'm like, give me the oil, give me the, ugh, I wanna look wet. Not really, but I just wanna look healthy and glowy, you know? And I, I love it, look at it, it's like, 
glowy, healthy, natural skin. I just love it. I just like when people are like, oh my God, your skin looks so good. Or not like your makeup looks good. I'm like, oh, thank you. But I, when somebody tells you that your skin looks good, it's just another level of confidence booster, you know? So that's why I always try to like make my products look like skin because I love that. I'm gonna go in and put these lashes on now because I think they're pretty dry. So I'll take it on this area right here. And I like this part to be a little bit more lifted. And this one is just super close to the base. Bam, look how pretty that is. I'm obsessed. I just, it makes me so happy and it's so natural. So I'm gonna go on to this eye and do the same thing. This one is actually a little bit shorter than this one. So ignore that. That is so pretty. Like I'm obsessed with these lashes, you guys. You need them. I'll link them below. For concealer, I'm gonna use oat milk from Dominique, this is the Wide Awake Full Cover Concealer. Talk to, you, talk to you guys about it all the time. I'm just gonna put it on. Oh, I love this applicator. This has kind of like that healthy, glowy finish to it too. So if you wanna use it all over your face, you can. I want a little more coverage, so I'm gonna let it sit. I'm also not putting concealer all the way up to the top of my lash line because I feel like that's where I have a lot of lines and texture as we get older we get that and i have makeup there so it really isn't necessary to put it that high up so i'm just gonna let it sit for a second i'm actually gonna just brighten my face as well with it i'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and i don't want it to get too far up because we like that dimension in our face so i'm just gonna let these two areas sit for a little bit and i'm gonna contour so my contour that i've been going back to lately is this one i love it so much it's from vanity makeup and she has like the best brushes for contouring so i'm just gonna use this this is the shade medium trio i'm just gonna contour my nose i've been contouring my nose a little different so i'll do a little half circle and then i'll do two little lines going back a little triangle under the nose and then right where the brow and the nose bridge line up and sometimes i can just skip that part because my nose is like small, it's pretty thin from this area, but I'll go underneath the brow too to add some shape and more attention to my eyes. And I'll just take the same brush and go in here. I've been contouring this way. If you don't have too much of a large forehead and you just want to add some shape, this is a really nice technique. All you have to do is these little Vs and then you just shade upwards into your hairline out into the temple and same thing for this, but you'll go downwards towards your brow bone and it'll just give your forehead a little bit more shape if you're not trying to cut off the top. I love contouring, it's so much fun and finding different shapes to kind of transform your face a little bit. This is like a larger contour brush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the same little brush for the cheek area. And literally all you need is like a line like this and just blend upwards. Try not to put on too much contour because you, you really don't need it. Especially if it's a creamy product like this, it glides and covers all the areas without adding too much. I'm just gonna tap my brush into this area. Sometimes dragging it will make the product go in areas you don't want it to go in, so it's better to tap. So now that this is pretty much blended out, I'm gonna take the bigger brush and tap over this. Not moving it around anymore, just like really tapping it in. That looks good. That looks really good. So I'm gonna do my chin. I've been doing this little V like this and it just makes my face look a little bit more V-shaped. I like to play around with different shapes a little bit. You guys know that. If you, if you are on my Instagram or my TikTok, you know that I love playing with different contouring shapes and it gets so much fun and you find just different techniques on how to create different face shapes. I'm gonna take this and just softly pat in that concealer and take it alongside the nose too. And I'm also gonna take it right down the center. And once I'm done, I'm gonna take the clean side of the beauty sponge and just tap over everything. So I want everything to melt into my face and look very natural. Now I'm gonna set my face and I'm gonna set with my Smooth and Blur powder. This is talc free, by the way, you guys. It's talc free and it has hyaluronic acid. So it's a hydrating setting powder. It's not gonna feel tight on the skin heavy or like too mattifying it does mattify but it's not like a flat matte it is very blurring and smoothing though so i'm gonna go ahead and look up and tap that in over my under eyes and really just on the center of my face i like to set the center a little 
so it doesn't look greasy. You don't want it to look too wet. So once that's done, then I'll go in and I'll set the sides of my face, but with a radiant kind of powder. You've seen me kind of use this before like many times. This is the Glowish Medium Tan Powder. And I'll take this on the sides of my cheeks. You see that? It just looks like a really pretty bronzer. Put that in my ear a little bit, just so it all kind of flows together. So it has these little light reflecting pearls in it, so it just makes your skin look very pretty and glowing and natural and i love it I'm put it on my neck a little bit soft pink cream blush and take that with my beauty sponge and just go over the powder and add some blush to the high points of my cheeks my nose a little bit where my temple is like barely where the tail end of the brow is this is a technique to help lift the face and it just looks very soft and natural and it kind of brings that dewiness back into the skin if you put on powders now i'm going to just add my favorite lip combo this is so pretty so this is a lip liner from ace butte which has a really beautiful little top and it doesn't have a color on it which is so weird to me but it's so pretty if i see a color that's similar on the website i'll definitely tag it below or mention it it looks like this it's a really pretty mauvey pink so it looks like that, and then I'll add on top. This is Perfection from Lunar Beauty. Look at this, it smells amazing. It looks amazing, Ugh, it's so pretty. And it's very comfortable on the lips. So that's basically what I do, and I love it. Like, I love this look, I wear it every single day. But this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs it up and also let me know in the comments what products do you think you're gonna try. If you missed these two videos, make sure to check them out before you leave. I love you guys so much. Before you leave my channel, I just wanted to let you know that you are beautiful inside and out. I love you guys so much if nobody's told you today and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.